Let's give it to the madness. Oops. <laughs> you gotta put out this thing. Nights again, man. We got a long week, man. But we still gonna have some fun. I see Juggernaut in the building already. He's not missing this show. There's been a lot of snitching going on, man. We gonna talk about it tonight. Man. Here we go. You are now tuned in to the greatest nigga of all time. The note. Heist man the foe. Happy Friday, everybody. Six. Primezilla. What's up? What up, what up? Happening, yeah. You know about shine. What you know about grind? Mm. Get your ass up. Get to work on time. Mm. So damn tired that it hurt your mind. This is for my niggas with a nine to five that get that check, take that home, stack a little bit, trying mm. to get back on. Bills pile up, gotta pay back loans. Mm. Sick when you see a nigga sitting on chrome. I know your pain, know your life. Work two jobs just to pay your lights. Can't uh. make that show. Gotta work the night. Nigga stay up. You can get back right. Just hustle hard. Get them stacks, pay them uh. dues to your shit on blast. Fuck, tell them fuck niggas they can kiss your ass. Show them fuck niggas how you get your cash. I Save grind. Save some for the album. Save some for the album. I go hard. Album. I'm about that green. I got this shit for low. I got that shit for cheap. So I grind. <laughs> and we also have Charlene Defoe. Once again, I have nothing to offer, but hey, y'all. <laughs> you, you ain't gonna rap? You gonna spit no bar? Yeah, Yo, it's Charlene, so mean, <laughs> sickest on the scene, and that's off of the head. I, look, I can get you, I can get you lit. Yo, it's Charlene, sickest <laughs> on the scene, so mean, Charlene. <laughs> Girl, you be the hottest rap out. What up, though? I see the chat popping already. We got really mysterious juggernaut six in the building. What's up to the white folks, the gangsters, and the thugs? We's in the building. GMTA. <laughs> what's popping, fam? Primzilla, what's, what's up? Shit? What's good, nigga? Ready What's to get been into good? The madness. Ready into the madness, man. Man. Let's get to the theme song first, though. Here we go. Here we go. Fuck that tough talk. Mm -hmm. That shit's irrelevant. Saying you pop off. off. That shit's irrelevant. If I get caught, you know I'm bailing it. If her ass off, you know I'm nailing it. Fuck that tough talk. That shit's irrelevant. Saying you pop off, that shit's irrelevant. If I get caught, you know I'm bailing it. If her ass off, you know I'm nailing it. By the way, the boy go by heist, man. I don't strike jacks, call the boy grease lightning. In the club fighting, competing with the dykes in. Drinking straight. Yeah. What up, though, Heist Man? The Foe Talk That Talk, episode 236. Man! It's back in the building. Back for another one tonight, Friday night. What is it? December 16th? December 16th. Yeah. Hey, it was like three months after your birthday. Look at my mustache. Yeah. What's she like? An etching sketch? You know, the etching well, sketch not... be on the mustache. And... You stupid as fuck. That's what Charlene told me a while sketch. ago, man. No, I said you look like one of them dudes where you take the magnets and move it over. Yeah, not, not, yeah. not the yeah, I know what you're, you're talking about. I know you're talking about dude with the glasses. You can move his mustache around, give him a beard and shit. Same hair. Same hair. <laughs> Primzilla, what let up? us know, man. What's on the menu tonight? On the menu tonight, we got some black brunts. Some black brunts. Black and brunt. we still got a little purple truffs. <laughs> or pink truffs, I'm pink. excuse me. Oh. I got some um, walnut haze. I got some snickerdoodle. Snickerdoodle? Yeah, Do it smell like them? Nah, it smell like weed. 
Smell like weed. Smell like weed. That's smell like weed. But yeah, that's on the menu tonight. Hey. And I also got my edibles, man. These cookies are rum and root beer. The same. The same. Right. Reggie. Uh oh. Huh. I don't, I don't see a wheel yet, GMTA. Yeah, it might be on your end, brother. Might not be us this time. Woohoo! We don't have the leg. So I look like Mr. Potato Head from Toy Story 3. <laughs> Damn, I gotta change it up. It's almost all like Mr. Potato Head. That nigga's stupid. However, I do improve. Now, what I look like. I like Danny Myers. That's how Danny Myers look. He's a better rapper. Nah, I'm bullshitting. All right, let's get into some bullshit for the day, man. It's a great mind stink of light. That's exactly what GMTA stands for. I remember when I found out. I was, I was like, like, yo. Man. But it's obvious. Let's get into some of these tweets I seen today. Bow, I'm talking whack skeleton. That's what it stands for. What, great mind stink of light, GMTA? GMTA? Yeah. Yeah. Damn, I never knew you that. You ain't never, for real? His real, name, oh. his real name, Bob. No, I'm playing. <laughs> no, but I didn't know GMTA, that. GMTA, yeah. That's what it stands Damn, for. Okay. Oh. Look at this right here, man. The passing notes like to class. That. So your mama wear a bonnet outside. And look at his mom. That's <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> what you do. His mama do wear a bonnet what you outside. Do every tell you, day. Man. Every day. Wax skeleton. I like that. I'm wax skeleton. It made me laugh. Hell yeah. Look at this right here. I, I, I agree, GMTA. Oh Lord, she already getting me. The wackest of the skeletons. The wackest of skeletons. <laughs> look at this. Can you, can you guess that song? Can I see it? Oh, is that showing up yet? Oh, it's showing up right here. I see it. I'm trying to figure it out. Oh, okay. Hold on. Ring, Kate. Ring, Bell. Bell, uh, Kate. Oh, it ain't a ho-ho. Ring. Ring. It's a Dr. Kate. Dre song. Ding 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 I don't think this is real, but if, oh. it, if it did, these, the characters they picked for it kind of look pretty good, man. If they going to pick these people. Is it Pixel or something? Let's see. Who, who that, got, that would be fun. Look at that. Those are good choices. Those are some good choices. I don't know how they got Bill Hader's quagmire, though. Why? He too young, for one. And I don't know. I they got yeah, Craig nah. Robinson as um oh boy. I think it's pretty good. Look at fucking Stewie head. Stewie, he can pick any kid. I don't know who the white woman is. Who that Hillary Clinton? Shut up, man. I don't know who yeah, the white woman and is. And homeboy, he definitely gotta play Joe. Yeah, he do his voice anyway. He don't do he? his voice, yeah. Right, so he gotta play Joe. And it made Joe look like him anyway, so. Mm-hmm. Right. But I don't know. It's so many other people that look just like Peter. So I can play Rick. Cleveland. This is what Charlie be saying. My name is Cleveland. Especially when I grow my afro out, my little hair. Boy, that be looking crazy. I seen this picture, man. This got me, boy. I don't know if I showed this before, but if you look at it, then look at it again. Like, do what it says on the picture. It kind of throw you off a little bit, bro. Look at this, man. Things I see on the internet. You, you see it yet, Pre? I'm trying. Hold on. So all these plates are um, flipped upside down, except one. Once you see that, all of them be right side up. Like they look like. Damn. A, it, damn. I saw which one it was. It's an illusion, ain't it? It's the lunch plate. Uh huh. The lunch plate. When I looked at it, it's like everything else flipped upside down. Look at it, babe. Can you see this? Read that on the screen. Damn, like that. that's trippy. Two more bottles in the building. Jeff Samuel, what up? Jeff Samuel, what's up, pimping? You see, you see how that looks on the screen. 
Yeah. Gonna look crazy. Yeah. That's crazy as fuck. Well. But I don't see the one that's blue upside down. Just look at any of them. Think about it. You'll look, find look. it. You'll find it. Look at the plate. You find it. That's trippy because they was all upside down until I found it. Uh, Alright, look at this, man. <laughs> Can you tell me what show this is for Rick and Morty? Uh-uh. I, don't, I ain't that deep into Rick and Morty. Nah, I'm saying. Jeff said me, I never stitch on my bro. Yeah, baby. We got to talk about that gutter situation, yeah. Sorry. No, that's no cartoon this will be. What show this will be? Um, yeah, um. The Simpsons? Uh-uh. No, um. It's a black TV show. Look at it again. I'm going to spread it out. Look at Martin. I just couldn't spit it out. Martin. Martin. Yeah. Martin. That's Martin, yeah. 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 It's pretty dope, man. You had to spread it out. I ain't see it like spread out. That definitely Martin. Pause, nigga. <laughs> the white person got right first. Yeah, the white person got it right. Ain't some shit. Look at this. I ain't noticed how they did this movie. Titanic. They said that man wasn't in no cold water. He was in some warm, really. When Jack did it, when Jack. Why would they put the actor in cold water? I don't know, man. I mean, I don't know. It looked like they was in the ocean, bit of the ocean for real. But this say say this how it really looked. It's something I've seen online, man, on Twitter. It's pretty well, cool. Well, of course. I mean, it's cool to see what, how it looked, but... I don't like, know. It's drowning for real in cold water. It's mm. fucked up. After she got on that motherfucking plank, he couldn't get up there. I think everybody oh, yeah. everybody got the same... Everybody think that she... That, that somebody else could have fit on that. Did they do it on uh, Mythbusters? That some, yeah, they did. Man, that somebody man, else could have fit on that plank with her. You ain't need Mythbusters, yo. You could have seen that shit. I've like, seen it. I, I'm looking like, bro, you don't want to get up there? Like, yo... Uh uh-uh. uh, slide over, cause like, come you on. up there. All right, let me up here. All right, what is this right here? Ugh. I don't think I know nobody to do this. What's up, Nikki J? Four twenty in the chat. Let us know what you're smoking yeah. on tonight. <coughs> what's what's on your menu tonight, Nikki J? What you puffing on? I got some snickerdoodles and some hazelnut cream. What you got, Pre? Some black runts. Pre got some black runts. But would you do this right here? I think this is the grossest thing I've seen no. online. I, absolutely not. I, that's, that's the grossest that's thing the, I've ever seen, but it's not. I, first of all, I don't like instant potatoes. Yeah, instant potatoes are nasty. Uh, but I ain't... That, yo. I ain't deep throw no potatoes at all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say it. I ain't deep throw no damn potatoes. That's disgusting. That is gross, yo. <laughs> That's some of the gross shit I seen online this That'd week. That's last time I deep throat. Lord, that's nasty looking. Oh. Ah. Two, two more headaches. We got Nicky J. I got bed. all three headaches, bottles. Let us know what you puffing on, Nicky J. Hey, yo, they say this makes sense now. <coughs> Look at this. Ah. Uh, on Wednesday, Adam. Where, where that hand come from? So you quit smoking names uh, a long time ago? That's funny. Oh, that's what's up. Only reason why I smoke names now because I can get names. Because they're pre purposes for for him. Right, they 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 had a um dispensary. That's why. Like back in the days, I used to get NFDTS, nigga from down the yeah, street. From down the street. <laughs> <laughs> we all know about that. Look we still this. get some of that from time to time. I thought we this don't was forget our roots. Can't forget. That's crazy. That's what happened to the sausage. I can tell you what happened to the sausage. The cat got. Oh, mm-hmm. that's, what I, that's, that's, that's so cute, though. That's what I seen last night. So I'm gonna show you tomorrow. Oh, um, yeah, the cat got like, it. The cat motherfucker, got I want you to get my sausage, but it is kind of fucking adorable a little right. bit. Look at this right here. I seen this. Um, is a tweet, and they say tattoos should actually make you more employable because it shows you can sit in place for hours while tiny needles are jammed into your skin, and that's what every corporate meeting I've ever been in feels like. That's some real shit. That's some real shit. I never. That's real as fuck. Like people be thinking because you got a lot of tattoos, you shouldn't be hired for jobs. Like, nah, that should show you. It also shows you're not afraid of commitment. Or commitment, yeah. I'll just get a few, Charlene. I seen that. And this right here, last but not least, which controller did you start off with? Shit, Nintendo Entertainment System. No. Sorry. Number one. Mm Mm-hmm. Number one. I started off with number one one myself. Number one went to number, number two. One. What's then the best the, uh, controller? What's the best controller though? The best? See, I wasn't a big fan of six, what? eight. 
Nah, because it was too bulky for me. Like Six seven. is the best. Oh, no, I love seven. I was on seven back then. I was seven like, I was on PlayStation. Of the slimmer. I, I, right. You know, you know what? You're right about number six because I remember buying a special one that was smaller for my hands. Right. Bro, look, look how many times your hand got to move with number six. But you know I mean, how many of y'all had a number eight? I had, oh, oh, Dreamcast. Uh -huh. Yeah, I like Dream. I, I, I ain't really like Dreamcast. Number eight is, was close to where we at now, but I ain't like Dreamcast. <coughs> I ain't like Dreamcast. Only thing I liked on Dreamcast was um that NBA Street. I used to play some kind of fighting game on that. But number nine, number nine. Man, think about uh, number six. Number thirteen. Think about number six for Golden now. You get yeah, like, you, you had a trigger in six and number four, and number number two. I'm I on the number nineteen number right one, now. But I clocked hours with two. Two, three, four. Yeah, I said I clocked hours with three. I definitely clocked hours with three. Song the Hedgehog, yeah. boy. I oh my! Out cold, like, no ah. I said number twenty the best. Over number three, my sister got laid out on the motherfucking floor before. Until you hit your sister with number three. I hit her. I hit her with a, a number two. I hit her. I was. I had a cast on my arm and I hit her and knocked her out. I still rock with twelve. No, I fought with twelve. I'm a, I, still, I fought with twelve. I'm a, I'm a um, Xbox guy. I don't like PlayStation. I fought with 17. I fought with 17 and 19 right now. I say 19, really, because the that's the one I got. Huh? My phone now. Oh, Charlie, she put her phone down. I so you had them all? Charlie, you got them all. We got them in a the damn shed somewhere. I got a whole... Uh, yeah. Man, I them things to have. have. My, my dream is to have a room where I can put... Um, I can't do anything until I get rid of my children and my dog. But I just want a wall of old school... And new school. What, what's um Queen's Flip? If you look at his show, he got a show. He got all the consoles around him, like behind him. He yeah, got like an I Xbox, want. PlayStation. Yeah, I seen that. I, like in like, oh. light boxes. Yeah, and all in all them boxes, he got like a like a shelf, but he got each game system in there. You see the Atari, like the Nintendo. That That'd be dope. Let's get into the birthdays of the day today. I don't have a handy dandy man. Though. You don't have a handy dandy man? No. You better get with Casey is raw. He got all the games. You know you're trying Casey, to get you. You know you're my boo. Casey. Charlene. I just move into Casey's house and I can have it already ready. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here first. Charlene and Casey Raw. She's Casey leaving Heist Man for the Raw. Yo, guess who birthday oh, it is today? Nigga, who birthday is it today? Love with Van Beethoven. Ludwig. Ludwig. Do, 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 do. I thought it was Ludwig. Ludwig. So that looks like Ice Cube holding a guitar. Ludwig. 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 Hey man, um, was he as dope as everybody say he is? Man, hey, he was Dr. Dre. You still know his music. Yeah. You still know his shit. He was Dre of his time, bro. Right, right now, you think he can produce something right now? Hell yeah. Yes. Heist, man, I have the hot fire. Do you want he it? He did it with no technological advances. Was well, he deaf? Which one of them was deaf? I think Beethoven was deaf. The he life. had the damn ear thing, didn't he, Beethoven? I believe at the end of his life. Yeah, I think he composed the yeah. 19th concerto with one I'm ear. I'm just saying, like, you you know music. You play music so much in your life, it blow your eardrum. You destined to come back and be a Dr. Dre. It was a Mozart who had the ear thing. It was one of the two. He was deaf as fuck, though. I, yeah. I've got my hair <laughs> too bad for me to um, I mean, I don't research know. it right now. Fuck your birthday. I don't um, know. Both of them was dope. Fuck your birthday, though. They ain't got shit on um, Metro Boomin. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> you, What? Man. Metro Boomin versus Mozart. Come on, man. Set that up. I would yeah, love it. Start that. That's, that, that's what oh, Nisa are doing. I'm sorry. Battles of the Beats, for real. Do them shit, yo. Oh, this nigga said um, Beethoven started Def Jam. <laughs> Beethoven started Def Jam, yo. I'm telling you, see? Hey, yeah, you Def Jam ain't like that old, Thomas. bro. You probably did, yo. Beethoven started Def Jam. We running with it. That's one of my favorites, Furlies. Watch out, little bitch. I forgot her name. I think her name was Joy T. A. Ainge. She a little girl, man. She's the world's smallest woman. I think she like the size of a goddamn star phone cup. Yeah. Put it in my pocket. Mm hmm. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Today her Didn't birthday. Didn't she play um, American, American Horror, Horror Story? Story? I love her yeah, she so did play the American uh, Horror okay. Story. Yeah, she dope. I love her. She's adorable. She's just like this little perfect creature. You know, they revere her like as like a goddess. Mm hmm. Uh -huh. Yeah, when well she go back over there to India, boy, look. That bitch might well have six arms. They think she the damn... The Shiva. <laughs> She's like a goddess. I swear to God, they worship her over there, boy. We watched a little show about her before. Yeah. She's an absolute doll. And she's got such a good spirit. 
That's what's and she up. funny. She, she deal with her limitations, you know. She's, she's right. Beautiful. Yeah, she. Hey, we like. I, love, <coughs> I just love her. Kids, I love when, like, when you hear her really, really talk about her life. You just love her, her soul too. She's beautiful. Yeah, she dope. Yeah, big shout out to her. And, Fuck and your she's birthday. Such a big life for such a little person. And she want to be out there in the streets too. Yeah. Yeah, she does. <coughs> little she, people, baby. She just oh, limited, man. Shit. Somebody can then pick her up, throw in their pocket, and take she off. Is, <laughs> She's not not like a, a little person. She's like a tiny person. She's, she's yeah, man. She's little thing. She's she like, bought she bought the same size size. of a two a two liter bottle. Some shit like that. Yeah. She's pretty small. Nah. No, she is like, she's like two smaller, liter bottle. Nigga. She's like a toddler, smaller than toddler. She fuck her birthday. All it's right, all baby. The exhausted one, Brody Lee. R.I.P. R.I.P. to Brody Lee. He he did now, but um, what's the former Luke Harper. Former Luke Harper, he passed away on this date today. Yeah. R.I.P. R.I.P. Fuck your birthday. This nigga's stupid. So she three foot tall, can't do nothing but look up on the brakes. <laughs> hey, she can't. She might can't do nothing but look up on the brakes. Shut up, man. Yeah, <laughs> he he came, he came with the bullshit today. I see. See. Yo, look. You. Oh, matter of fact, Juggernaut, where you at? I ain't sure the watch color. The preen pies juggernaut gave me, yo. Look at these right here. The, what do you call them? Ear pies? The air pods. Air pies. You got them with the with the, with the preemzilla name on them, yo. I like them shit, yo. Got the custom preemzilla pods. I like that. That's dope, yo. Big shout out to juggernaut. Shout out to juggernaut. That's my boy. Jessica Jones. I still haven't watched that. You missing out. It was a pretty good show. Jessica Jones, a dope show. Mm -hmm. I wish they would bring her back. So you in Arizona? You in Arizona heading home now? That's what's up. Be safe That's out there, boy. What's up. It'll be home soon. Can you guess why I missed out? Huh? Can you guess why I missed out on Jessica Jones? Why? Because I watch it without you. I ain't think you want to watch that. See you didn't even watch Daredevil with me. Why? Heist breaks the benches. I'm telling you, man. That, that's like. That's, that's you a binge one, breaker, yo. That's one of the worst things you do inside of a relationship. You can't Start break watching something without the other person, yo. Uh, you can't break the binge. You found out to watch the White Lotus without you. Let me you can't even say shit. You saw his face, y'all. Because they shit. She watched a lot of shit without me, and I watched a lot of shit without her. But then, watch, let me tell you, me and Val, while I'm, um, while I'm working. me and Val was watching All American all season long. And we always wait and watch it, like, on Tuesday so we could skip the commercials and shit. Yeah. And she like, oh shit, I don't watch that shit. Right. I'm like, well, damn, I don't even want to oh, watch it no more. Code. You broke code. You know what I'm saying? You, you broke, broke code. You like, damn, no, I don't even want to watch it. No. That. That's adultery inside a relationship <laughs> right there, boy. Right. <clears throat> cheating. It's cheating, boy. You, you watch a damn Netflix She's talking show. about crybaby. See? But shit, let me watch something. Let me I watch something. She. And she, yeah, I, I, she mad as fuck. Let Maybe. me watch something that she wouldn't watch. Yeah, that's fucked up. Name that nigga. What's up, Butterfly? Can you name this nigga right here, Butterfly? <laughs> right on time to play the world's famous game. Well, not world famous, but... Yeah. The community famous game. This ain't in the community, right. boy. This is... We have our own community. This, yeah, this community. The village. The village. Oh, we the village. The I like village. that. I like the village. village. The heist man village. Can you name Gotta this nigga? Gotta start somewhere, bro. Can you name this nigga Preem? Man, hell no. Nah. This dude's oh, no. to my sway. <laughs> it ain't sway. It's close, but this dude, he been on TV for a long time. Is that Ellen DJ? <coughs> I would definitely binge watch that with you. Oh, Juggernaut. Got it right. You named that nigga. D Rec. That's, that's DJ D Rec. Drop the beat or stop the beat. What can see to say on that show? Oh, see, I don't watch that I don't, I don't watch Wildin' Out. Oh, Wildin' oh, out. Wildin out. Yeah, that's the DJ from Wildin' Out. So he on oh, TV. Yeah, he been on TV for what? About nine years straight. Every Damn. day in syndication. But that's who that nigga is. Fuck Damn, he nigga. got that shit. Fuck it, man. Oh, yeah. We're going to talk about Ellen DJ, too. Yo, Paco. Today, Paco birthday. You fuck with Wildin' Out? I don't know, man. The comedians on there funnier than being on network TV. That's why I can't watch Wilding out, because the people I see on Wilding out is funnier than Wilding out. It's like they can't do but so much. They got to be corporate. It's like the, right. the commercial version. Of, correct. Of yeah. These funny like you people. said, commercial versions. Don't get um. Is it? 
it's different when you yeah get them the real deal you know what I mean? right you you see these same people you take them outside of wild and out they wilding the fuck out for real you like damn that's why i can't watch wild and out i ain't seen that shit in probably six seven years um it's paco you and paco from blood in blood out benjamin Blood. oh okay 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 that's what he look like now sharon can see the clips hit man carter deems yeah all them on there they corporate though Conceited don't want to battle rap no more. He making that better money. Clips, he go back and forth. Hitman doing better. Sharon, he can go back and forth. I'm saying they commercial. They, they, um, you can smile with them. Right. You can't have the super thugs on the wild and out. You can have the marketable ones. You would act like you would be marketable if you had the chance. Who, me? Sell the fuck right out, boy. No, no, no. You got to <laughs> when they say shucking and jiving, <laughs> so Kai might be better. Yeah, I hope that do happen. Um, people don't want him to battle Cass Conway. Um, conceded when he come back, but I think he need that little warm up. Then let him get the rum nitty and or fines. So yeah, let him wear warm up on Cassidy. Cassidy he getting better with his um shit, but he ain't did nothing in a while. But it's a big money. Yeah. JB Smooth today is JB Smooth birthday. Where? This how I do it. You ever seen that um stand up? I think he got the best stand up comedy ever seen since um Eddie Murphy Raw. It's called "That's How I Do It" by JB Smooth. It's old, but I think it's one of the best comedy sets I've seen in a long time. Cause that man has so much energy on that stage. That boy, he moved up and down. Up that boy, like he ain't do stand up. He did parkour comedy. You think I'm bullshitting? That parkour comedy. You think I'm bullshitting? The man was. He, he, I'm saying that's how much he moved around. He showed so much energy on that stage. I gotta respect it. You never think like JB Smooth stand up, man. That shit hilarious. So I gotta give him a big shout out for that. Fuck Yo, you, fuck I you, think man. you just invented a new phrase. <laughs> well, parkour comedy. Right. Yeah. Yeah, somebody still niggas up. gotta have some energy. You need a capper at that shit. Refrigerator Perry, y'all remember him? Oh, you went deep in the craze. Today's birthday. I don't know what he did except be a big nigga. You know he did. I, I, wasn't, I wasn't around for him to, in 85. Did he have a rap verse or something? Yeah, the, you was around for him in 85. Nigga, I was two. So, you got a daddy that, man, well, you look, shouldn't even put this story up. I can there. barely hold my fucking okay, head so, up with two. So, Refrigerator Perry was like I on the world champion. Yeah. He was on the world champion the Chicago Bears. Oh, he was the fridge. The, he helped them win the championship by yeah. becoming a running back. Yeah, I heard he did some shit like that. And ran a touchdown that won them the game. Mm -hmm. And he became famous. He was William the Refrigerator Perry. And he sold a billion refrigerators. Did he Did he actually go out and like, sell some refrigerator? Did he get a Maytag Whirlpool deal? What's up? He probably did after, you know, Michael Jordan sell cars and Raleigh and shit. <laughs> yeah, but he ain't selling Jordan cars. He's selling them Mitsubishi cars. He, 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 right. Rich refrigerator pair probably selling Maytag. Okay. My bad. Okay, okay. I just want to make sure. Mr. Marketing... T, shit, Mr. T selling errands. <laughs> Mr. T, I think, look, I think there was a fall off. When I seen Mr. T on the errands commercial, I'm like, nigga. With the chains on. With the chain. That's his gimmick. You got to have a whole thousand damn chains <laughs> to check out Ali Sadiq. Yeah, uh, yeah. I know um Allah Ali. I seen him on the eighty five South show. He one of them righteous brothers to talk that shit. Right. Oh, play that game. Who that honky? Can y'all guess who this honky who? is right here? Okay. Who that honky? Can y'all guess who this one is right here? Charlene, you probably know who this one is. I'm waiting. You seen him and shit? I don't know, but he tan as fuck. He is tan as fuck. Mm. Oh, GMTA is sniffing around. He's off a of fucking um, all the Adam Sandler. I don't know his name, but ah, uh, see, that's what I'm saying. Who that honky? Adam Sandler friend. Ah, oh, that's his name, yo. <laughs> yep. He's on every Adam Sandler movie ever. That's the nigga that be with Adam. His name Peter Dante. That's his actual name. Oh, it is his name. Peter Dante, but i like when he played in um which oh, might, might be strong <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that shit. Said, that's exactly what i started thinking about he came out butt naked yes he's the one that had the little um karate monkey and the, he had, like, mm -hmm. the, the gorilla i think the gorilla that got out yeah man he played some funny parts man 
His name is Peter Dante. That's grandpa, then. Grandma's boy. And I love. <coughs> That's on my top. On my top, like my comedy movies, I like. Oh, Cliff Robinson. R. I. P. To him. He, Not he died. Not the top, but up there. Top five comedy movies, I say, that I like. Yeah, I remember Cliff Robinson. You probably yeah, didn't. I mean, I didn't. skip him real quick. Fuck your the brother, basketball man. player. Basketball player. He was um. Said Grandma Boy. Yeah, that's that's one of them. I love that movie DMTA. I watch it anytime, mm-hmm. over and over. Yeah, that's one of the ones you can watch anytime, and it ain't never bad. I'll never, I'll what never a- get over him nothing on that boy mama when she he came in the bathroom. Ca- yes. Oh, that was nasty. That was, look, that sold it for me right there. As soon as I what else? That. I say that. Napoleon Dynamite. I love Napoleon. You Dynamite. can't never go wrong with them. Super bad. Uh-uh. Super Fire. bad was a great movie. You watch movies like, them, them weird white boy crazy smoked out pothead high jinx movie. I can watch them every day. This is motherfucker crazy. Especially like Grandma's boy. That motherfucker, that motherfucker said, "Do you see me?" He was hiding up against the wall. Right. <laughs> 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 Ah oh, man, that was fun. I want to play that game they were playing though. That game looked kind of dope. The one he made. Mm-hmm. That's all the birthdays of the day, man. Guess who died on this date today? Nigga, who died on this date today? The chicken pimp himself. Colonel Sanders. Colonel Sanders. Do y'all think he was a pimp? I think he nah. stole that gimmick. From nah. The black man. He walked around with a cane, white hair, badass suits and shit. You know, shit. Pimps, right? I know, but I'm I, saying, who are those niggas got secret herbs and spices? Up. I heard he shot a motherfucker. Who? The, the colonel? Hell yeah. Who else named they self a damn name that not except black people? What? The colonel. Like the colonel ain't never served. How you know? How I you know, know the history of Colonel Sanders. How do you know? I ain't say he was no colonel, but That's what shit. I'm saying. Black people do that. The they be like, I'm the colonel. I'm the general. I'm the come on. I think he stole this gimmick. He walked around with a pimp and a cane, badass suit. He fried eleven herbs and spices. Colonel Sanders was black. Either he black or he stole this gimmick from a black man. Am I wrong? What's what's ingredient number eleven? But look, goddamn, <laughs> it's gonna be something stupid. <laughs> Fine, it's gonna, some, it's gonna be something <laughs> disgusting as fuck. And you ain't supposed Come to. Come on, know. you mean chicken thief? I don't think he stole no chickens. I think he was. Hey, he he, he is a businessman. Did his thing. I just want to know his gimmick. Did he steal that? Cause he hustled them them chickens. Shit, he just hustled the chickens. He, he hustled ain't had chicken. to steal them. But I'm saying, you got to look good he, at doing it. He created the formula, and then he sold it, you know? like He was a little boy looking at the damn speakeasies or something, seeing these nigga in white suits come through. He got his gimmick from a black man. I don't know. I just wanted to be. Remember WWE had them um, wrestlers doing that shit? <laughs> Dressing yeah, up as Curtis that's... Sanders wrestling. I yeah. think Dolph Ziggler should have did it, man. Should have stayed this. Uh, he the Colonel. Good. The Colonel. Dolph had the shit. Yeah. Dolph looked good doing it, man. That's wild. Yo, guess what holiday it is today? Think what holiday is it today? Put chocolate. I mean, National um, Chocolate Cover Anything Day. Chocolate Cover Anything. Chocolate Cover Anything. I don't. Cover heist. Chocolate Cover Heist. That's racist. No, I'm not talking about that. That's nasty. You can put chocolate on a person. That's nasty. <laughs> Y'all tripping. All right. <laughs> what about ugly Christmas sweater day? Oh, it is. I ain't got no ugly I've Christmas never had sweater. Ugly Christmas sweater. Have I ever had an ugly Christmas sweater? I've no. Never had one. I had I one. I, w- have... I wouldn't mind having one. Wouldn't do that next year and get some ugly Christmas sweaters? Sure. Why not? I want to find me like a. Sweater. Uh, old Wu Tang or some shit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy one after Christmas because I I never have I never do it before Christmas because I'm always concentrating on getting the kids stuff together. But do you? I don't want to. I don't want a um a gimmicky one. I want a real ugly one like a, a or original. Like I don't want to have the Budweiser. Okay, like I don't. Grass, a good shit. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I want to go somewhere like that. Yeah, and get a, like a real yeah. ugly Christmas sweater. I don't want the damn a newer one. I want the old model. I want a real ugly Christmas sweater. Everybody else capitalizing off of it now and making designs and stuff. I even have one on Teespring. See? I, I, yeah. I got Why don't you get that ugly shit? Nah, because it ain't. Uh, fuck you. Because I'm the shit. underdog, <laughs> man. <laughs> oh, that'd be dope. They, they make them. Honestly, it's such one. You got to rep your brand, bro. It's National Under um, Dog Day. I'm the underdog, so you the underdog. You know you you, you be fucking with high power people. <laughs> oh me? 
Yo, yeah. you and Bream and Lean? <laughs> Ice Cream Flay, I don't know what nobody is. Yo, Barney and, I mean, Barbie and Barney Backlash Day. I don't know why there's a such thing as Barney and Barbie Backlash Day. Why is it together? I have no idea. Maybe the B and B and B. Barney and Barbie Backlash. It's 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 a it's a holiday. I don't know. I don't know. How much shit is that? Okay. It's the Boston Tea Party Day. Them motherfuckers cut the fuck up. Talbish, like what's good, fam? What's Boston good, Talbish? Tea Party when I was in school. Talbish, have you ever heard about the Boston Tea Party? Me either. <laughs> I know what the Boston Tea Party is. It's like when they were beefing with somebody. Let me take these. What is this? All right, they were they were getting taxed on their tea. Right and Flame legend. they was tired of getting taxed. Like when you get tired of being overtaxed. So, yeah, but, but why are you? At, the, oh, look, why I mean, I heard they, about it in school. Why they culturally appropriate and, and dress up like Native Americans? That's what they did in the Boston They did. Mm-hmm. They did. Yeah. So they dumped the tea in the, in the ocean, they and they right dumped the, the tea the in the ocean. Like yes, I'm saying they, I, I know. I they know went that's on the, the cargo ship and threw away basically. I know a that. Shipment. Shit, I mean, I know that, but what else, what else happened with that though? Because I know that happened. Like, everybody know about them. Put some damn. They got tea. ready for war. But was <laughs> tea like war. tea? Like tea was a big item back then. Yeah. You know how many packs of damn tea we got sitting around the house now? You got to feel. You got to think. All them people came from England. What they drink in England? Tea. Yeah. So they were like the dope for them. They were bringing and dope. The, they were yeah. dope. Yeah. They were dope. Yeah, and they were getting taxed, and people don't. That ain't right. Taxation without representation. Yeah, like it was like a one-sided deal. Basically, they got a three-six. All right, so who who they fight? So okay, so Boston. They were fighting the British. They were fighting the British because the British British owned the thirteen colonies. Cool, cool. They owned the thirteen colonies. All right, like so. The people of Boston now they they ex British people themselves, but they still getting their damn dope from over there, right? No, ain't no British people left that but around it. The Boston people are British people, basically. They ain't been over here long enough to be. They just got over here. They didn't conquer the land, stole it. So they in America, seventeen hundreds, and right. they was like, "Fuck it," right? You know what I'm saying? They, they got to a right. point. They came right, over here. They, they came. They, they came over here. They said they found their colonies. They establish their communities. Mm-hmm. They live in their best life. Right. And they, all they want is some tea from back home. Right. So and they, they do can the plug. Buy the shit. No, but the plug overtaxes them. Right. That's what I'm saying. The plug, like, man, fuck them motherfuckers over there. We're going to just make this price for less amount. So they came with the shipment. So the people, so they like, fuck that. We ain't getting taxed. We're going to dump that shit in the fucking ocean. And uh, in who, the who river. Dumped, who wherever. dumped it in the ocean? The um tea the the tea party the the Boston people the Boston people yep so how they, they like, it, so so they was getting delivered from over there right yeah and when the boat came in and docked and they came over and, and they dumped it in the, y'all should have came, just killed everybody and took the shit oh man they didn't want the shit they had to make a statement yeah, that was the statement they were making but that's, it was still the dope talking about the plug me. kid slave boy you still said that's kid slave. <laughs> My kids like <laughs> that was they taking a knee. They were protesting. Oh, that's how they took a knee. They took a T. Yeah, that's how they put a fist in the air. Like, hey, they didn't like that shit. So we don't even want y'all shit. Matter of fact, we gonna dump it overboard. Matter of fact, we gonna dump it overboard, and nobody ain't gonna get no T. Man, y- how y'all let people come on y'all boat? Yeah, y'all. Yeah, yeah, because they got overtaken. Like, you you gonna stop a whole city of motherfuckers with your four niggas? Right. You feel me? Like, you and your four niggas might swing, but Push it three of y'all going down. Damn, thank you, man. Professor Preve. New segment coming Professor soon. Professor Preve's back. You put me there to give you a new segment, nigga. Man. So your mom been on the cruise? I, I, I knew. I knew what happened. I knew that some people came with some Were tea. You playing with yourself in class? No, I know some people had some tea and somebody threw it in the water, but I didn't know what would happen. This why your that's this why your son feeling right now. No, that ain't got no reason why. Your, <laughs> See, your mom been on the cruise. That's what's up. I've been on, be on the cruise. That's dope. Yo, you hear about this dude right here, man? I don't know his name, don't know nothing about him, but he been charged for slapping a damn police horse on the ass. He said he had a big booty. He pow slapped it, and they like, look, bro, that's assault. <laughs> he can't do that. That's assault. That's assault. That's assault on the officer, on, ain't it? On the Leo. 
<laughs> Damn, lock your ass right up. Damn, how Fucked up. Sorry, bro. Dumb ass. You shouldn't have did it, bro. You shouldn't have did it. You shouldn't have did it, bro. Shouldn't have went to New Orleans that weekend, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you know you were lit, too. You were drunk. <laughs> Fuck it, cuz. Oh, no. And, and the cop had to be an asshole, too. So, all right, goddamn, mm, you want to slap for All right, motherfucker. Come here. That's assault. I'm Come here. I think he did it because ass. of the race of the guy. I think if a white man did, he wouldn't have did it. A lot of people think that way, too, though. Like, a lot of, a lot people, of that shit. Like, a man, lot of, but I it be see, happening. It ain't that people wrong. You know what I mean? Like, police pick certain, and choose it, man. Police see a black person without their seatbelt on, they let them go by. Like, go right, ahead. like go me ahead. and Val was just having this conversation Yeah, you need your like, seatbelt. Go ahead, thug. Bah. Like, the police had just announced that they were going to be at one of the churches in the community around here. And it's like, don't be at the fucking church with the old folks. Uh -huh. Go ahead, Bree. Don't, don't be at the church with the old folks. Be in the hood talking to these people, these kids, like they for real. Don't talk to them like they threats. You know what I'm saying? Don't make them feel uncomfortable. And they, people got to change their views and quit being picky and choosing about who gets away with shit and who gets so the police gonna be prosecuted. at the church you said they should be somewhere else they should be in the hood talking to these kids these kids out here killing each other not I the old folks I would say it's a, it's a good idea that they get out and let another kid because if you if they if you don't know them shoot somebody you know right and they don't they automatically go to a situation waiting for some shit to pop off they expecting you to pop off so they can do their job right you know what I'm saying? And they get wait basically waiting for you to give them a reason to do their job and hem you up because of the way that you look. And that's what's not right. If you're not developing a relationship in these communities, you want some bullshit. Hey, look, look Everything keep doing you your do thing, man. Bullshit. Protect the old people too, though. Don't get me wrong. Old people gonna be protected. Dog. They need to be protected, yo. Cause them young they, punks out there. Look, no, because you got you know something why? going on at your church, and you need a couple of police to come out there. Let them. And you know out. why shit going on? Because they motherfucking ass ain't out in the streets talking to these fucking kids. Well, I think everybody need to police themselves first of all. Each community, like I think yo. all black officers need to police nothing but black ghettos. You, you, you can know we're diverse communities. We have diverse mm -hmm. communities, but if you know you, if you're in this certain community, you know this the ghetto. So you have now you behind enemy lines. You black. Nah, <laughs> nah. It should be it, you should be able yeah. to talk to anyone, and <laughs> people just don't. No, you I'm saying I ain't trying to divide us. What I'm saying, black cops, they know. Okay, what community would, would be policing us then? I'm saying Asian communities police themselves. They have Asian police. Jewish communities have Jewish police around there. We need black police in the black. Areas, so they won't. They're like, we know this nigga ain't no thug, man. We ain't got to shoot you, him. But why can't, a, that's why, why can't the, any that's race the get to know another race? They can get to know him if they can learn the details. If they can <laughs> know this nigga is a punk ass nigga, and you ain't got to shoot him. Then yes, I don't know. I a think it's relationships that should be developed. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't a divide. It's, it's about who police each other. We know our own people. Uh, our own people telling each other to not fuck with police. Yes, but you know what's happening to our own people. Who kill. going? Who gonna go out there? What you gonna do to the nigga? What you gonna do? Like, what punishment is the nigga gonna get with us policing ourselves? We gonna man, give man. them the same? We gonna give them the same punishment? You, we gonna give them a? You gonna give them a punishment fit for I'm, the crime? I'm saying now, you know you got them. I'm just saying, you got, bro. You got redneck gym and you see a damn kid with his damn pants sagging. You finna get him? You finna hem him up? Bruh. But if you're a black dude. Black cop, and you see him with his pants saying, "Hey man, pull your pants up, man." Then teach their fellow cops to do the same thing. It ain't hard, but it's easier to do the other. How do how do your fellow cops help a black person police a white neighborhood? Shit, they can do the same thing. They how they got to get to know the community, bro. They got to get to know the community and know how the vibe is and know how to feel out the people. I think we didn't lost. I think we didn't lost the um the path I was taking on this. Cause y'all wrong. wrong. We'll be wrong. Yeah, we're wrong. Y'all wrong. I'm smart ones are wrong. I'm always right. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. Let's get on to something else. You borrow fifty dollars from a friend to play the lottery and you win eighty million dollars. How much do you get your friend? You Forty. What now? You borrow <laughs> 40. You're a dirty dog. I said you borrowed $50 from your friend and you played a lottery. 
You won $80 million from the lottery. Does he know I'll you give him it? half. Does he know you played it? Do you do do you know I played it? I borrowed. Yeah, I'm just kidding. Exactly, GMTA. We always right. You always right too, GMTA. Me too. Like some more. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, guys. If you ever gonna make a bet, just bet on he's wrong. Yeah. Bet on he's wrong. Yeah. To y'all. To me, to me, I'm right. Juggernaut, Juggernaut, say he getting fifty dollars. That's how much he borrowed from him. I so. Juggernaut said he's going to give him back $50. <laughs> if I want to buy, I was gonna, I, if I want a lot of money, I'm going to take care of my friend anyway. Take, so yeah. Even if I, I don't know. borrow any money. If you borrow $50, that nigga helped you when you was down, yo. Give him half of it. Right, I better, I better what you going to do? With, what you going to do over $10 million, <laughs> yo? Over 10 you said, like, really, you know how, if you... Act right with right. your money. You good. Okay, think about it. Let's say you win all that money and you you move and you got a whole different area. You got to make a whole new fr- friend set, and that's not right. I'm moving there. everybody with me. If I get eighty right. million, I want my friends and my family members to be with me anyways. Hey, look, right? I'm about, look, I, you I moving too, bro? New, make all new friends. Like Preem. <laughs> like hey, look, hey, hey, hey. Tell let's your go. family, let's go. I'm sit y'all let's up go. with a house down the streets. We <laughs> yeah, shit. Community. Take it, take it necessity to these shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Pretty dope. Take, take it. Yo, you see this woman right here? She going viral. Cause she finna join the navy. What's viral about that? She look like a damn a, a capital P from the back. I mean, if she passed the fitness and all that stuff, what's different? Uh, I mean, if she if she can do the work, no, that's her spot. That's what I'm saying. That, I, I'm, this ain't she's shit. Sick. What's wrong with that? That's what I'm saying. It ain't like that's why she's going ain't. viral. Like she going to join the navy. Everybody like, yo, yo, she thick. She joined the navy. Okay. It was the news. It was the news. All right. What about wow. this? Well, In wrestling, what's my man name? <laughs> Mia Yim. Old girl, Mia Yim. She's jumping on this dude right here, Austin Theory. Ah, uh, she took a picture with Austin Theory, she yeah. She took a picture with Austin Theory like this, and everybody like, look, you married to Keith Lee. You can't just be jumping in there, man. Lap. Like that, yo. Look, he ain't even holding a cheek. You see where his arms at? Right. Like, he, she said, that's a friend, yo. That's they a friend and all that. Look. Nah. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> like, nah, because. Bitch, you jumping. <laughs> You jump in somebody's lap. Hey, look, you can't do that shit, yo. I don't care what they say. How they try to make this see what she's saying? Nah, cuz. Keith Lee. She apologized. Yeah, she apologized. She got apologized to her. She got apologized to her husband. And she, I'm sure she did. That's forgivable. Yo, Keith Lee, you got a Karufa. I don't go around jumping in people's lap, but that's not the biggest deal I've ever seen. You got a Karufa. It's like a photo. It's like a professional photo. It is. Shoot. It is professional photo photo shoot. Not, but... I mean, it's a professional. It's a fucking professional photo shoot. It's it's, it's a, a like deal. yeah, it's work. It's really not. You know that big better. You, if you know your partner, you know better. And ain't work for the company no it's more. Like her, if you look at the picture, her puss ain't on them. Hey. She just wrap. You know, she's not even like crotch to crotch or she's not even really wrapped tight around him. Right, and her so, character is a spidery type character anyway. It, it's not even so, like a disrespectful looking picture. She's it ain't, like, oh, yeah, but mm-hmm. yeah, it of is. course, the internet, the internet, and they'll knock in the idea moon. Out. That's what I call Charlene. Y'all remember Knocks in the Moon? A Knocks in the Moon. A Knocks in the Moon came off the Mummy One, and Man. he won't let nobody touch his bitch. And he seen him. He, like, he seen a, He put all that makeup on. He seen a, one smudge on her shoulder. <sighs> They say, you know, spiders coming out of his mouth. With him. Locusts. See? That nigga turned into I'm the whole moon. I'm sorry, movie. my lord. That's what I call Charlene she, and knocks to the moon. Uh, Don't ever touch my woman. It's going to be something. So, Boston. Th- hey, look. Keith Lee need to come back and squash him because hurt him. Man, Keith ain't coming back. Nah. A lot of shit. And a lot of fuckers ain't coming back. This this right here, man. This was going to be on shit I seen on the internet. I mean, the shit I seen on um, Twitter. It made me laugh. It's about this little boy right here. But when Charlene brought it to my attention, it turned my whole throat 
Ooh, I know it fucked you up. I know it fucked you up because it fucked me up when I saw it. This, like, it this, bo- no this boy must be 12 years old. He a football player. He might be that 12. That boy ain't 12, yo. That boy ain't look, fucking 12, yo. But I'm saying, I was. I just wanted to laugh at it real quick. Like, man, look at this boy here. Ha, ha, 12. Funny thing I seen on Twitter. You know, this is what this is going to be. But when Charlene, she told me about it, I'm like, yeah, I saw this picture. And That boy ain't 12, yo. And tell me what you said, Charlene. This would this would turn my whole mind a I different look way. At it a whole different way. It, it really concerns me because people are gonna look at him as an adult. So people are gonna treat him as an adult when he's not. Because we have a twelve mm-hmm. year old. So a police officer, if he encounters a police officer, he's gonna be mm-hmm. him as an adult. Uh grown women are gonna treat him as an adult. Men mm-hmm. are gonna fight with him like he's an adult. And that is literally a child, a twelve year old like, child. A twelve year old. I have more concern. He ain't even that mean he ain't even went through puberty yet. You, you, yeah, you see what I'm saying though? You see how how He's that baby. how how what she's saying is turning the whole story different. Like now I'm starting to think about it. Police gonna see this big ass humongous man, mm-hmm. but he a boy. He's a baby. He a baby. a baby. Right. Where then, your ID at, sir? Think of hey, exactly, exactly, Juggernaut. You know what like, I'm saying? Women, they're gonna try to throw them the ass now. Because, like, I, 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 you understand? I want to yeah. I, I, ain't th- I, I ain't never think about it this way. When she was, I was thinking about it, like, damn, that's a big ass boy. On to the next story. But when she did this, it did like, um, what, yeah, yeah. what I call it? What I said? Uh, um, you Dr. Doctor Strange. It was like Doctor oh, okay. Strange. It was like a line going. But when she did it. A whole nother new line start forming. Like, hold on, now this is a different story. You see, now I'm thinking about how they gonna. It was, it was an incursion. <laughs> it was an incursion, exactly. <laughs> now I'm thinking about how they gonna treat this young boy, looking like a man. Like, grown men gonna treat him different. Everybody gonna treat him different now because of the way he looked. And now I feel kind of sorry for him. I do. I feel like, very damn. Sorry for him. He's too. He looks. Yeah, it's, it's I ain't think about it. it I, I, I don't. From I don't him, think a lot of kids. And a lot of girls um, go through that. Yeah, like girls that develop quickly, they go through that, and it steals your childhood crazy. from you. Do the bud right. buzzer for you. Said, and you best man on YouTube. Exploit the shit out That's of him why, for the news. You know, I see tattoos on these young boys. It's like sixteen years old, look thirty. You seen them high? They be big as hell. You know, you see how it's, you see how I treat them like they're a baby, and I still Florida. Come on, sixteen. Yeah. This, this Florida, like I, man, I ain't, like when See, I moved I down here. Little well, niggas big as fuck. Like these are some of the like, biggest I like kids. Gr- I treat them just I, and, and, like if I'm watching something, there's a sex scene on there. I know they probably watch porn and stuff at home. I fast forward it because I treat them like I would want to be treated. M- come moving to Florida, I ain't used to seeing these big ass kids. Like coming to get tattoos, you be like, hey, "What's up, fam? Man. How you doing, man? Hey, man, you see SpongeBob yesterday? Like, how old are you?" They were like, I'm 16, I'm 17. They're like, you what? Know, you know my homeboy, he's grown now. Um, John Bond. Oh, yeah, yeah. I met him when he was 16, and he had the fucking traps. Like, his fucking diesel. neck, he looked like he could have pulled four cars at the same these time. These boys be cock diesel, 16, 17-year-old, full mustache, he's a big, he's a, beards. He's a grown man now. He's probably 30-something now. It's cake. We always know it's cake. We are. We know you're the most sensitive man on YouTube. Cake is back in the building. What's, What's up, okay? Cake? Who do you think is uh, fake? Raw man said the Budweiser voice. Do the Budweiser voice. That is a 12 year old boy. Shout out to him. He can go buy some Budweiser. He can, he can buy some Budweiser. He can hey, buy yo, Budweiser right now. Protect, you know, yeah. That, that's why I say, yo, big shout out to you because you made me think a whole different way from this. It turned the you made him think like a You made him think like a parent. Yeah. I thought like a parent then. Like, yeah, you I know mean, what I'm saying. Damn. Like at first sight, you like, God damn, cuz, God damn, cuz. Nah, I just started worried about him off gate. She but worried then, about, him. Like, yeah. But yeah. then you look at it like, shit, like that could you. be your jit, bro. Yeah, and you got a jit like that. I do, and he yeah. big as fuck, and he it's scary when he walk out the door. I don't, yeah, I don't, don't nobody know that fear. Zay, what's up? They be like, huh? yeah. Tomorrow, what's up? Yeah, I, you know me, what I'm saying. Eat some cereal. I, I will. Right, but you. Zay, Zay, they a monster, yo. That's what I'm talking about. <sighs> no. Yo. He, big, he big just look at people and they know. Yo, look at this right here. These cops right here in Florida somewhere, they found a whole stash or whatever. They found a whole bunch of money. And they did a TikTok singing, a milli, a milli, a milli. You know, they, they mocking. Ooh. They're Ooh, mocking they, the, you, the people. You, you feel it? It's kind of a good use for the song. I, 
I don't know, man, but because I seen um so put on the Budweiser. Hey, I gotta find us through one of these closets, man. He, he needs to clean his fucking closet, right? I gotta man. do. I gotta. I gotta get back on my we, on, on my Budweiser. He got a list of things he needs to be doing. Yo, you know that um I, I seen I seen the Senate is trying to um block TikTok from governmental devices. Yeah. I think that's pretty. Um, they trying to ban it in the U.S. completely. But do you know? Okay, so back, <laughs> I, I wish I could remember exactly the terms they used. So back when they were trying to ban it the first time, uh -huh. they kind of switched to like, not providers, but there's something that they switched. It doesn't go through like a direct path to China anymore. It has, it's, it goes, it's not the same. It's not like our, our information is going to China from it anymore. But people don't really realize that, so they still have like a thing about worrying about it going to China. I, I meant to remember that because I knew you were gonna bring this up, but I can't remember I, that I, word. I didn't want to bring it up, but I'm saying I think that they should ban TikTok from governmental devices because why the fuck you need TikTok on your governmental device? That's true. Right. At all, you don't need that. I'm not opposed to that. Don't so, say ban it for everybody though. No, don't ban it for everybody else, but ban it for your. No, like, I feel on. like certain certain services should be banned at work, yo. Lord. You shouldn't be allowed to access certain sites while you're at work. You should be working. You know, you know, you know. I'm working kind. That's like Zordon. Zordon, he get he made these kids the Power Rangers. He get them a little. It's morphing time. That thing. Mm -hmm. You don't need TikTok on that because you that's that's your morpher. You, can't morph you don't need to be watching TikTok trying to do a a dance on that. Hold on, I know read the Rapunzel coming. Let me watch this video. All right, come on, click. Yeah, it's morphing, it's morphing time. time. Hold on. We got to add. We got to add. <laughs> we got to add height to the call. We got to add height <laughs> to the call. No. So look, keep your government devices. Um, blah, 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 blah. He's so Yo, stupid. this woman, man, she put some Rolexes up inside of her, herself, and um, she's went to jail. <laughs> I'm in Leon. Uh, she, she got she had the a, snatch of death. She got the snatch No. Charlene has the snatch of death. But, um, she put that's what this woman right here. She, I think she's better thing than I am in Las Vegas. She put a couple of a Rolex worth $12,000. I mean, good try, so. good try. Who saw her? The dude who did it. I mean, she, he, he oh, said, he's dude, this on. Yeah, dude said he had her up in his um room. Oh, he, she was a friend that he had in the room and something like that. And she did it. That's she probably was gonna bring she was a prostitute she was a prostitute right. oh she no, stole no, he tried to make it seem like fine. she was a prostitute yeah, yeah no, look he it. said he met her at the bar they went upstairs and mm, you know da, da, da. Oh. he like oh, oh no, she no, took no. her tip she took her tip right she took her tip she cardi beat him that's what cardi b said shit. she should do right she's take nigga shit what they yeah she did i don't know i don't know that's what i'm saying but yeah that's what happened with her um, Megan Thee Stallion, she in court again about the damn the foot, the toe, the foot, whatever. the toe, whatever got shot, and it came out that she didn't had her like look, she been messing with Ben Simmons, the baby, so all her shit getting put out there. I don't know nothing about this story because I don't follow it, know nothing about it. I just I know somebody her boyfriend said he embarrassed or something. Somebody embarrassed because the girl, her best friend. I don't know none of this dumb ass shit. So man, Tory Lanez was fucking both of them bitch. And when the girl that was with them texted her Tori best shot. Friend, her best friend, yeah, Kelsey. Her best see. friend. And, yeah, that's and Tori was fucking both of them. Yeah. And, and they, went now, to, they went to one of them Kardashian girls' party and got kicked out of the party. Because they find, yeah, because they find out she was fucking Ben Simmons. And which is a basketball player. He didn't got put in on But it, it don't like I don't know these people. I don't man. know. It shouldn't matter. You shouldn't he shouldn't have told he shouldn't have told her dance bitch and shot her. He sure shouldn't. No matter, ah! what, no, man, no matter what, who she was fucking, or what happened in her past, or whatever, like yo, I don't. That ain't no yeah, reason. We, to like we all know they. I mean, but everybody keeps saying like. I don't know. He, he the one. He the one that got to prove that he didn't shoot her. The other girl keeps saying she don't remember saying that he she shot him. That he shot her. She trying to get out of Somebody it, but she shot. already... It's three people in the damn back of the limo or something, right? Yeah, she, she already told the police that Tori was the one. So I don't know nothing about this. Don't care so, nothing about it. And now it's like they trying to flip some shit, but that's on them. Good luck. Um, Good luck to whoever wins. Because it, it don't affect this area over here. Yeah, I don't know nothing about them people. You know what I mean? 
I don't know nothing about this either. Diddy and DJ Academics fighting. Because Diddy called um the somebody other got girl, called a side young, chick. Young Miami got called a side chick because the other girl had a baby and she didn't. And Diddy like Diddy had to come out and explain like, himself. Man, shut the fuck up, bro! You fuck trying to fuck my shit up. <laughs> That's what Diddy said, basically. Yeah, like Diddy got his Diddy had to expose his personal life on this shit. You know he, I mean? he went out there and told everybody he got a baby. I'm a father again, y'all. Love. He was happy to be a father. That Ain't was wrong with that, but I'm saying, but you you out here with this one chick, everybody know you with this one chick or assume you with this one chick. Y'all all together, because. you copping Rolexes and vid- all, like everybody know y'all together. Everybody think y'all together and you say, that's look, big, that's like, I got a, I, I, Yeah, it is. So and when somebody call her a side chick, right, like, so she can't get mad at somebody calling her a side chick. If she can get mad all she wants. She is what she is. Yeah, do the other chick is side chick too, though. Yeah, they both yeah, side chick. Yeah. Yeah, either side one with the baby is a side chick. They it's side like, chicks. They on the payroll. Yeah. That's Diddy. That's Diddy. That, like you said, they on the payroll. They on the payroll. They on the payroll. He yeah. got them around for something. And they making their money. And they should be happy. Shut the fuck up. Make your money, yo. It's live it's your it's life that you want to live. Live your life you want to live. Be a side chick. Right, be on the payroll. Don't don't be upset what? because people throw a label on what you're doing. Because what you're doing chick. is what you're I'm doing. your side chick. You're you're doing side chick and shit. You moved up the roster and I married you. So, uh, what? You moved up the roster and I married you. I moved up the roster. Oh, I'm the side chick, y'all. So heist man plus four points. So I'm not a side chick. Four pl- plus four attribute points. <laughs> right. You made it. Try leave. <laughs> I cut the whole roster down. What's up? I had Char- a roster. You had them down. What's, what's up? Meow, meow. Charlene reorganized. The, he, he reorganized the whole organization. Well, look. I, I became a... I, look, I became an expansion team again. <laughs> you know what? I became an expansion team again. I'm moving the team. I'm moving the team. We're going to Vancouver. <laughs> we to the Grizzlies. <laughs> we are a whole new team. We're, we're the Mexico City Aztecs. Mexico City Aztecs. <laughs> I quit being in, um, I was not the Chicago Bulls no more. I started my oh, God. Drake, speaking of starting his team, Drake. Drake then came out with a necklace with like 42 oh, shit. diamond rings on him for all the times he should have got married or whatever. Do you think? It's all the times that Your he, home, he girl, said, all the those times I he wonder, proposed. I, I believe I your friend is one of these... Um, Possibly. 42. That bitch is kinking them. <laughs> that bitch is kinking the chain. First of all. No, she like number sure. six. Yeah. Hey, she probably she like number six. There, she up there. I'm saying like, they, they were real I shit. I can say that's real shit. I, the shit I see now, I don't know if it's real or not, but I see just like. I'm pretty sure she wanted to. I'd say thing. she were real. She got to be one of the top um, four, right? Like early, you talking like early yeah, Drake? Early yeah, yeah. Before Ain't too many people was that close to him like that. That's what I'm saying. So, yeah. So, yeah. Big shout she got to be like number three you or four. But... Yeah, bitch, you a kink in the chain. <laughs> you so stupid. Big shout out to her, man. We know we, we love her. Um, you a kink in the chain. Bitch, you a kink in the chain. Nah. Um, what's this dude's name, man? You wish you was a kink in the chain. Who? And Drake chain? Yes. Yesterday when we were kidding I you were invited. <laughs> <laughs> it's like my favorite bar from Drake, man. On his first album. He started his album off. He started singing. That's how that's how you know he was a nice guy. He started his album off with singing. You like, Yesterday on, when we You just you had just heard a a fire ass mixtape Drake song. <laughs> I'm talking like some bars. You had just heard bars from Drake, and then you go cop the album, and that's how he started shit. And they said yesterday like when we were getting fuck? high, you invited. Ain't that some good shit? Invited. You would have liked. Like, <laughs> like damn, you should have been there. <laughs> Boy, you stupid. Hey, this dude right here, man, RG three, Robert Griffin, th- Griffin the third. He was on Bruh. TV. And he called some um, black NFL um, quarterbacks jigaboos. He said jigaboos. He said he said jigaboos. He did so. He said he meant to say bugaboos, but he didn't. He oh said jigaboos. He he said some offensive shit. Wow, is he fired? Oh, nah, nah. Okay. You, you gonna see him Sunday? That got pat on the back. <laughs> you got that off? 
They rubbing, his, that off. They rubbing his Man, shoulders had, in the back. He had dinner with Jerry oh, Jones buddy. that night. <laughs> no, nah, I'm saying he um he has been pegged of being like a, a reporter got fired from ESPN. I think Rob Parker got got fired from ESPN from saying he ain't a real brother. Saying he ain't black. Man. So he ain't a real brother. So he a black it, it's worse. A real, it's worse. Like like he, like he been he been got that Uncle Tom stick on him all that all that already. You know. So when he said that, it was like niggas was like, mm, that's you know. He said it though on TV. But he said it. He said it. You jiggaboo. <laughs> he said it. We ain't making this up. Wow. He was not invited. <laughs> he would not like. He wouldn't it. have liked it. <laughs> <laughs> I All right. Ooh. Man. Glorilla. F I E E fuck Nick Freak. That chick. She went on Angela Yee oh. show and said some of the nastiest stuff in the world. What'd she say? She said that um she get her boyfriends to Ah, oh, she said he should get them to bust in her food so before she eat before it. She eat it. That's why her eyes so damn far apart. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I don't know. It's a red light drinking on a red light. That's just nasty. That's disgusting. She came yo. Back That's some shit. Like I guess I, I didn't see the interview. Like, she said she was playing when she said it, but uh, do what she you said, do. Yeah, Gunna man. snitching, yo, yeah. We gonna talk about that snitching situation with Gunner too. Yes, we is. Yo, that's gross. So um, like, and everybody was like, yo, ain't nobody ever in life said this before. Like, what she get this shit from? That's- Trying to get clout, you were saying some shit like that. Right. That's nasty. Like, yo, you ain't need to say that to get your clout. You know what I think it's it is? It's a lot of, yeah. I think it, what it is is, um, she, um, is real skinny, right? And she been, they even came at her for being a skinny rapper. She ain't got no ass What's and all this stuff. Nothing. No, 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 no. I'm not saying that. I'm saying, she, and they, and she going out saying, I ain't never getting my ass done and all that stuff. I'm, I'm me. I'm my person. Good. But I think she's trying to overcompensate by saying she do nasty stuff to still put herself in that sexual category. That's just me personally. That's I don't saying. know. I, don't I think, think it's motherfuckers in her ear that telling her that that shit yeah. is funny. And it's not. It's disgusting. Lord, our, our children. That's my best friend's little girl's favorite rapper. Oh. Uh. That's, that's who influences. That's influence. That's who influences her. Yeah. And it's like, damn. Run the hill. They don't. They got to know. Drop who that link. Let us know them new shoes you got coming out. What you cop new. You need cop some new shit. Air week. You gotta see them, yo. Drop the link, man, so we can see that shit. So there's pictures. We do that whole segment. Ryan's new shoes. Or well, Ryan's shoe of the, the week. Shoes of the week. Shoes of the week. Yep. See, that's a good segment right, <laughs> right there. there. Here's the. Get a new shoe, shoe of the week. week. Send right. me a picture every week. We know the damn new shoe to go cop the wear. You say getting the Jordan Sevens tomorrow. See, well, I tell Ooh, you that nigga see, all day. <laughs> a good picture. We would have had a picture of Jordan Sevens up right now. We can get it for next week. Meow, meow. Oh, this dude right here, man. Um, Brianna Taylor. Oh, her boyfriend. Her boyfriend. Yeah, he even got him two million dollars. Million. Did he have anything to First do with that? Huh? Damn Walking right. Up? He. He was in the house when she got shot, right? They were looking for him, weren't they? So, were they looking for him? They were looking for. Oh, they no, were looking at her old boyfriend. He didn't live there anymore. Oh, right, and he was there. He was there. He still he fit the bill. Hey. Black male encompasses black all y'all. Male. male black. That's what they say. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Male, male black. Um, they don't say male dreadlocks. Um, they don't say black. low low haircut. They don't say light skin, mm-hmm. dark skin. Just mm-hmm. they male, don't put up male black. Male black. He, he and was, any he any of them, and he was in the vicinity, so he was the boy. And uh, he didn't got two million dollars from murking for her getting murked. Do the mom and them and, get something? I would hope so. I hope so. I think they need to give her. Why? Why should the mom and them get something? Because that's her mama. Just because that's her mama. That was a boyfriend who went through the shit with her. Like they came. To... They lost their daughter. Yeah, I mean, did, like damn, do the I get something for being hot? 